Welcome everybody, it's day three of the Trio Challenge. This is my materials jar. Brown paper bags. Okay everybody, jar two, that is my action jar. This is what I'm going to have to do. And I have chosen burn. Last jar everybody, this is what I'm going to have to make. Wallpaper. So the material I have to use are brown paper bags that you get from the grocery store. I'm using those bags to make wallpaper, and in the process of making that wallpaper, I need to set them on fire. Y'all remember that time when we were told, oh, hey everybody, you can't leave your house anymore, so we all ran to the store, bought ice cream, and then started watching Netflix? Well, I'm incredibly excited that I pulled wallpaper because today I am going to show you how to use those ice cream transportation devices and create a bold and statement wallpaper. You know when it's like just like, a little bit of wall. What are those called? A pop wall, like a uh-uh wall. I feel like I don't have that name quite right. I think I'm gonna cut out the paper bags in a pattern and try and maintain that pattern as I set them on fire. We will see how that goes. Like a ooh wall. I think the pattern is a good idea because I really want it to read as wallpaper, not as someone made an oopsie on my wall, like a little uh wall. Or even worse, my wall has the corona. Given the material that I have to work with, who wouldn't want wallpaper made out of this? The latter is potentially a concern. Like a, uh, like a, ooh, wall. I don't think that's the name. I am creating all of these in my apartment. So instead of showing you the big flames, I'm going to give you this exclusive 10 second montage of me compulsively looking up, desperately hoping my neighbors aren't looking out the window. I am not questioning my life decisions at all. An accent wall. Even though the flames weren't as big as would be optimal for this project, I really enjoyed setting these brown paper bags on fire because as I gazed into the flames, I understood that what I was really burning were all of my hopes and dreams for the future that now no longer exists. Things so far really weren't going to plan, but as ever, I knew I had to just trust the process and go boldly forth. I realized that one of the things I found most interesting was how all of the soot was smudging around when it was wet. And I realized that I could try and turn the brown paper bags into a sort of pigment that I could paint with. It's really important to stay positive during times like this. So look on the bright side, everybody. When we've all been kicked out of our house and have to live under a bridge, you have step-by-step -step instructions how to make beautiful wallpaper like this. Things were going from bad to worse, and I pretty much emotionally prepared myself to present you guys with a wallpaper that looked like the black mold version of the Corona, when luckily an amazing thing happened. I was peeling up one of the burnt pieces of brown paper bag to move it into a slightly different place, and I realized it made a really interesting printed pattern underneath of it. I got really excited when I saw how cool the texture was that the brown paper left behind when I peeled it up. So I decided that that would be my way forward with this wallpaper. I mean, given the project, I think that this came out really well. I use grocery bags, I set them on fire, and I made this wallpaper. Why did I do this? Are you still really asking me that question? There will never, there will never be a why. Is there a why? If you learn to look at the world around you and instead of seeing what something is, you see what it might be, that is fundamental to everything I care about. 